Hi, it's going to be Debbie with Deanne's Designs. I've been working on this little project and I wanted to kind of share it with you for a moment. It's it's completely different in, than what I normally would do. But I was really wanting to do this. Uh, this is an ephemera pack. It's kind of loaded with a few things that I think would be fun uh, to do a journal with. And I um, thought I would share this time. It's kind of going back into more like the 40s, 50s type era. And uh, which is kind of one of my favorite places actually to be, to be honest with you. Um, this is a background paper that, oh my gosh, I think that's called, it's a Prima paper, Rose Quartz, I think it's the name of it. And uh, it has street addresses. So I took um, its poster board that you can purchase from Dollar Tree. It comes in a package, it's jot, and it's not as a big whopping poster board. It's it's more reasonably sized. I never did measure it, so I can't tell you exactly what it is. But I've taken two of those, and I've stitched them all around, and and I've uh, put them, attached them together to make one booklet. So on the front of this is um, Jim Holt has a stamp out. It's And it says, Life was meant for a great adventure. I've put that onto here. This is a Tim Holt die. I've cut two of them. One I lined with gold. And then the other one I brought in, which I don't know if you can see that or not, but I brought in the black one and then put the gold accents on there, which really made it stand out a little bit better. I've also got a, um, uh, this stuff right here that you can uh, raise your projects up with and make it a more 3D type effect. And this is also from the Tim Holtz die cut i've made two of those again one was gold and one i put the black on top of the gold accents this um the ladies you will see i order out from a crafty print and um, julie hutchins is probably one of my favorite artists out of there so i i choose those i um it's really for making cards is what you're supposed to be doing but i i approach them differently and so I've taken the ladies and um, like I would print two, I printed two of her and I wanted a, a double hat so I could make her stand out a little bit more on her hat. And then I, I cut off and did the dress, so I made the dress swoop up and then we attached lace. So then we had lace to the original dress down here at the bottom and you can see her shoes are attached here, which gave it more of a flared type of look, I suppose. And it just made her look a little more interesting to me. And this is also a uh, stamp that, yes, it, I believe this stamp is also um, Tim Holtz. And uh, so we just made her a little card to stick down into here. This is um, a card holder that I'm using. Is called Mente is the paper uh, that it got out. Uh, they had just the perfect camera to for that era. And we've also got a little picture of the Eiffel Tower um, into here. If I can't, no, that's it. Okay. We just kind of flip her dress up a little bit, and then you put your tags back in. This is also on this side here. When I did, when I stitched everything together, I also stitched a pocket up in here. So I could take these, and you can have photo cards, or you can write on them, however you would like to do. Uh, enjoy the little things is what I put on this one and she's another little girl that I was really appreciated and uh, loved the outfits uh, the outfits are really great to me I think that's kind of what catches my eye with them pop it back into here and then you will have another one that sits over here as such I enjoy working with these a great deal too. It's if it's another photo card, and or you can write on it whatever you would like to do. It's in your ephemera box, your little ephemera book right here. And these things can be a little funny. Managed again. Difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. That's what that one was called. You open it up. I've lined it again with uh, black cardstock. I've uh, created an envelope and prima paper again we'll leave that one's out of the rose quartz also it's either rose quartz or the uh, lavender that's where these two are going to be from and so i'm going to open this up i put a velcro 
stitch onto it. And then we're going to have little postcards that uh, these are out of um, Graphics Fairy. And I believe this one here might be out of Graphics Fairy also. I just loved it. It was just such an original old photo. Um, and I'm going to have these. I think these were Graphics Fairy. I'm not sure positive, but anyway, I had them in my stash on my computer. So I, th I thought the hot air balloon would be perfect in here also. And um, I'm going to pop this back into here. Close that back down. I found you an Eiffel Tower into this, which would be fun to, to do in a journal with. We also have, um, this is the Prima, the flower doesn't dream of the bee, it blooms and the bee comes. Be the game changer. And then we just simply took a piece of paper out of the Prima gift and we've created the tag with that. And then our backdrop is also out of the Prima paper with the uh, world map on it. Goes back into here. And our Eiffel Tower. There we go. Okay, the next page is going to be again the world paper, world globe. And then I put the all the little board looking materials on there. But anyway, you can see then you know all the papers. There's a lot of tags in this. And uh, kind of see where you're looking at in there. I thought that was good. Anyway, this is uh oh, these are glassing bags. I bought these out of crafting on a budget and I copy dyed them and then I did an embossing folder on it and then this is um I don't know for sure where I, oh this is crafty print also and cut that out and put it on there for fun. Oh it also holds because we didn't have enough of these. This is also going to hold some, this is out of Graphics Fairy, as you can see it's got a little printing on it with Paris on, and then another hot air balloon, put those back into there, pop it in, then I have embossed another little white card, it's got a lot of bird cages on it, love bird cages, um, don't know why, they're, they're just so much fun to me. And I can do things with those in a journal too. You may want to try those out. And then we're going to have hot air balloon. And this is another Mente paperwork. I love Mente. It's just really, really pretty. And uh, put that into there. And probably these little birds. I had those in my stash on the computer. Turn them off. Uh, Mente card. I'll put those in there. And uh, I printed out, or I cut out another, it's a white Eiffel Tower. Let's see if we can go into here. And these guys are just going to be little, that's another Mente card with the uh, pink, the pink camera on it. Isn't that cute? It just fits the era so well. Then we have a, a little hot air balloon. And this is Prima with Choose Kindness. And some more little birds out of my stash. These guys are so cute. I just really enjoy those. So we're going to put those back into here. But only that guy that won't even hurt. Lots of pretty colors going on in here. And, um, you know, it just kind of goes along with it. themed out. It just, it, I was really happy with it. Went ahead and placed a little ribbon down here on the bottom. So you'll have a small ribbon coming out the bottom. Give it a nice little effect. Then we're going to have this, um, it's just a journal. It's a very plain journal. It's ready to be, you know, worked in however you want to work with it. It's all copy dyed paper in here. This front can be changed out to, ooh, being so pretty too, nice. And it's just a very large pocket, so you can, you may have other cutouts that you would like to install and, and keep with this. 
you got plenty big in that pocket to go do that with. And then we just have a simple little flap on the back. And I cut out a little black poodle, a French poodle to be put onto here. So you have got a French thing running in here. And uh, I don't know, she's kind of cute. I hope you enjoy watching this. I enjoyed making it. And uh, I'm thinking about doing a few more things with them too. I've already started on this right here. It's, it's a very large tag. But um, yeah. It's very pretty. Just um it's gonna go someplace nice. I gotta figure it out. Nice little journal, I suppose. But anyway, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate you. Stay safe and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye bye now.